Hello Taurus and welcome to your reading. So this will be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you guys are dealing with the Taurus and you're watching, then cross watcher. This message might make more sense to you. And these are timeless readings. So Taurus, wow. Okay, that was a lot, but one fell on the ground. Four of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. Um, it feels like you're biting your tongue with something. Like there's something you really want to say and it's like gnawing at you. And you're like, God, I got to tell them this. But what's stopping you? Is it fear? I don't know because, yeah, it might be fear of being judged, fear of not being accepted, fear maybe they're a really aggressive energy. They might be. And so you might be a little bit timid or meek around them. Something, uh, Taurus, but man, you're biting your tongue a little bit too long with this. And, um, for a very long time. I don't know. You, you, it's time to speak on it. And it might not be something negative if it is, because there's a little bit of aggression here with this card, right? So I'm like, oh, right? This person might be a little bit bossy or controlling. And here you are, right? Here you are, Taurus, right? Totally like grounded as can be in your normal state. However, this person, oh man, they could even be doing a number on your mind, right? However, um, it's so interesting because if it is something in a little bit of a toxic cycle that might be needing to put a boundary in place, but it's like you have to put your foot down and be like enough is enough with this. Let's get some more cards here, Taurus. Okay, so yeah, the devil, wow. Codependent, this person could be dealing addictions, doesn't have to be, might be triggering your shadow side a lot. Okay, so you might be really dealing with somebody that's a, it could be a narcissist, right? Um, maybe they want to take, take, take all the time, but they don't give, give, give. Um, it could be a parent. It doesn't have to be. I don't know. That just came in. Whoever it is to you. It could literally be a lover, a friend, a boss. It could be anybody. They might have some narcissistic tactics that they use on you. Are you like not budging? Are you playing gray rock with them? Or is that what you need to do? That's literally what the Four of Pentacles could be about, right? Like, I'm sorry, like trying to get through to a narcissist and uh, <laughs> explain things to them or even tell them a narcissist is like totally pointless. Like don't even waste your time. Like the best thing you can ever do to a narcissist is like completely go gray rock. So what does that mean? Like what is a rock, right? It doesn't move, it doesn't budge. So you just give them no response. Not, you know, like you don't want to ignore them to the point you're like, like pissed off and you don't want to be like, like smirking in their face like and silent like literally no emotion because even with a narcissist like any happy emotion any emotion they feed off of it even if you're in a good vibration they feed off of it and you're being negative and screaming at them they feed off it doesn't matter what it is so it's completely right because then they they can't get high off your supply and then they'll move on to somebody else, right? So that could be the best response. Like literally, I'm like a tree. Tree does not move, does not budge. I need to go gray rock. Right? I don't know if you're already doing that or maybe that's something you need to do. Uh, bottom of the card, uh, bottom of the deck just kind of fell off. Three of, three of cups. That might be your answer, right? How you end up being the victor in the situation because um, you might not be able to get through to them. And that's something you might also have to accept within your mind being like, okay, I can't change them. They're never going to get it. They're never going to listen. But like, well, what can I do for me? And just make it about you. And like, okay, well, this is enough. And I'm just done. Yeah, there's the chariot moving forward with the magician. So this is you taking back control of your life. Again, the magician we have to watch out for. Because sometimes the magician could be the the, the, words, <laughs> the master of deception, right? Like what kind of... Because you're manipulating energies when you manifest, right? And we usually do it for the highest good, like of love and light, right? This is like good energy manifestation, but anything and everything is manifested, right? And so if you're manipulating of the bad sense, like be careful that they're uh, not calling in darker energies or you're not, but here's the thing. I think you can, um, yeah, that could definitely be the person that you're dealing with. Watch that little master manipulator energy. Um, but I think you can definitely, um, become the magician of your own life and kind of take the reins back with the chariot and be like, no, like I'm done. Like I'm not, like I keep going back and forth with you and we're not getting anywhere. Why are we not getting anywhere? Because 
well, they probably got some narcissism in there. And I do want to highlight this, right? There's different levels of narcissism. So just because I'm using this word so loosely, like here's the real fact, we all have it within us, right? And so are you on the healthy sale of narcissism? You're all the way over here in like NPD. So they could even just be a little bit and it triggers them to you or they could be all the way. So just because I'm saying they're narcissist, you may be like, well, I don't know if that's it's that severe, maybe at times and not always. Just take what it resonates because it could just be a little bit, even like, uh, I don't know, there even just could be some manipulation going on. But let me see, let's get some more cards for you, Taurus. Yep, all the cards going on the ground, on the ground, on the ground, grounding, right? Very good energy. Um, Especially for you, Taurus, but that's what you also may have to do is make sure you're grounded and level-headed when you're having conversations with them. Maybe grounding before you have to be around them. Like, especially if you have to know you have to be around them, like sure, ground, but you can also like set up some protection, like energy bubbles and stuff like that. Oh, wow. Look at, I know this is the moon, but I was like energy bubble and I was like, oh, just pretend like you're surrounded by that, right? The energy bubble, it'll protect you. Cause like, look inside of it. There's so much love and light. Like what you have to do is put your person in there and you're fine, like you, like, yes, I mean, like make it all go around you. That's an energy bubble protection, right? Let's see a lot. Yeah, there's a lot of earth energy coming out, but uh, let's see, let's grab some more cards. Queen of Wands. The star. Nine of Wands. This person probably knows how to push your buttons a lot too. Um, for some of you, it doesn't have to be with this queen. It can be a mother with the Queen of Wands, but again, it literally, it's whoever this is relating to. Because, um, especially if it came from childhood, because this might've been going on for some time. What's, what's your role in it is, is what they're kind of highlighting it. Oh yeah, the tower. But I think your role in it is to break the pattern, right? So it stops happening because the Eight of Pentacles just came out in reverse too, right? So it's like instead of letting that tower like burn all the way down to the ground as the tower does, you're not going to focus on that. You're going to be like, the tower already burnt a long time ago. Now it's my time to rebuild. Instead of calling those tower moments over and over and over, which how are you calling them in? You haven't maybe stuck up for yourself. You haven't put the boundary in. You haven't broke that pattern. You haven't leveled up in that narcissistic game, right? Gray Rock, right? So you're only playing and feeding into what they want, good or bad, your energy, high energy, low energy, angry, happy, you're feeding into it. And so what you do is you break this pattern here, right? And realize that towers are, are always been there. It'll probably still be there, but how your approach to it is, right? When I get the tower energy, I'm like, hey, it's just my chance to rebuild and start over. Like, I'm not going to dwell on everything coming down. I'm going to focus this on it, like rebuilding. And so what for you is what you're going to acknowledge is be like, hey, the tower's there. It was there yesterday. It's here today. I'll probably even there tomorrow regarding this other individual. Individual, <laughs> But for you, you're like, hey, I'm not going to be sucked down with the tower when they want to burn the tower down every day. I'm going to gray rock their ass and then I'm going to like rebuild my life over here with those healthy boundaries so they don't affect me anymore. Let's see if we get some final outcomes here for Taurus. Let's see what we got. It's gonna get one more card. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. There's a lot of balance needed, right? There's learning the lesson here, like finally, like coming out of the shadows a little bit of the time. But that book here made me think like, I finally got it. I finally learning, I'm finally getting it. Yeah, bottom of the deck. There you are, rising up, figuring things out. And so I think this is really good for you. Um, meaning like you learn the lesson on the, on the soul level because then you kind of like level up. Um, it's like soul graduation. I think you just have to cut ties. And I don't necessarily mean, I mean this in a healthy way. I don't necessarily mean you have to completely cut them out of your life. Maybe for some of you, if they're like complete NPD, if that's what's in your best interest, that's fine. But what I mean by like cut ties, like, I don't know, just like cut ties with that pattern, like break that pattern is what I was really trying to say. Because then, and how you're gonna do it is that healthy boundary. It's not even just gonna be gray rock. I think you're gonna have to set some boundaries in place and hold those boundaries and stick to them. So when it happens again, especially if this is like a family member or somebody you're gonna see regularly, like a boss or roommate or your partner or whoever it is, right? Like hold that boundary in place. Cause putting them, setting the boundary is one thing, but then enforcing them, like eh, they're gonna cross it. They're gonna push those boundaries to see if you're gonna hold them or not. Like, what are you gonna do? And that's where you're going to stand true because that eight of pentacles is like, oh, this is going to take some work. I got to make sure when I set the boundary that the boundary stays in place and they don't cross it. And if they do cross it, then what's the consequence, right? What are you going to do if they break the boundary? And only you can decide that because the boundary will be different for each of you. So 
I think that's really where we have to look at this and decide where you want to put your energy with this person anymore because I think that's where you kind of, I was like, oh, this is good for you because when you learn the lesson, you level up, right? And you kind of get yourself off that karmic wheel of that narcissism or that codependency or whatever that devil is here to teach you, right? Because it's here to teach you something, okay, Taurus? All right, guys, we're going to wrap up your video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you got anything out of this video, do me a favor and that thumbs up button this way. I know you got something that resonated. If you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. There's a bell too. You want to hit the bell and turn on all the notifications. I don't want you guys to miss out on any upcoming messages. The next message just might be the message that you need to hear today. All right, my guy. All right, my loves. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, be blessed.